need to demonstrate Office version 10 for Mac OS 10. It really is an outstanding product, and you're going to be delighted using it. Uh, we've got Word, Excel, and PowerPoint here. So let me just open up a, a Word document very, very quickly. And the first thing you'll notice with Office is the entire user interface has been inspired by Aqua. They've redesigned virtually every dialog and every icon throughout the application, delivering a really great user experience. Let me adjust some of the text here in the headline, and I'll bring up the formatting palette, and notice the same genie effect that's used in the dock is used to show where the palettes belong. You have direct control over the entire application, and this formatting palette itself is a big convenience. You can choose to keep exactly what component of the application at any time, Great time saver, great space saver as well. Uh, this is the full, powerful word, but it's been made much easier to use by incorporating other advanced capabilities of Mac OS X. For example, in Aqua, we have this great new feature called a sheet. Instead of having a modal dialog that prevents you from doing anything else when you're working on your documents, a sheet is associated with the window. So before you even complete the operation, you can still use the entire application. In fact, I can switch back to the Finder, open up another Word document, and I'm not blocked at all. Very, very convenient, and the cues of Aqua ring through through all of the applications. Let me just uh, cancel out of this, and take a look at Excel. Excel has been enhanced significantly as well. Um, this is a multi-sheet spreadsheet, so you've got the full power of the Excel calculation engine. But again, Aqua rings through the entire system. So when I'm doing data entry, notice how the cell has a drop shadow drawn around it. So it's absolutely clear that part of the spreadsheet that you're entering data in. We've got some very powerful graphics here. And Microsoft Office version 10 for Mac OS 10 takes full advantage of the quartz imaging model. So when you do pie charts, they're beautiful. Full anti-aliasing, so all of the fine hairlines on the screen look really, really sharp. All text is drawn using quartz as well, so it's beautifully anti-aliased. When you're building 3D charts, you have newfound flexibility. For example, 3D series charts like this are very, very popular, but this one demonstrates a problem. The main series, the frontmost one, coded in blue, is obscuring the rest of the content. Well, no problem, because Office supports full transparency. So let me just adjust the transparency of this first series to 40%. And I do that, and instantly you can now see through that data object to all the content behind it. Is that great? And PowerPoint has been enhanced significantly as well. It's a great presentation tool to take your documents that you've been working on and present them. This is an annual business review. You see the stunning text and graphics, again, leveraging the built-in technologies of 10. And let me go to the, the final slide here, which is our sales chart. I want to really punch up this image and this slide. So I'm going to go back to my content. I have this great TIFF image that I'd like to incorporate. Now, the problem is, is that this TIFF image is obscuring my content, but no problem. I'll just go to the formatting palette and adjust the transparency to around 75%, and I've added new life, new dimensions to my documents, and that's all enabled by Office. This truly is a great poster child application, and it's an example of the new types of things you're going to be able to do with your favorite software running on Mac OS X. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. Well, certainly next up, one of the most important developers creating professional tools on the Mac platform is, of course, none other than Adobe. Adobe has been working extremely hard on all of their applications to make truly great Mac OS X applications. I think today, at Seabold, is somewhat of a coming out party for a number of these products, as they're now talking about and showing us some of the great work they're doing on Mac OS X. And they've been a great partner of ours, and we're really proud to have them here to talk to you about some of the things they're doing. And to do that, I'd like to bring up Brian Lampkin, Senior VP for Professional Publishing at Adobe. Brian? Thanks a lot, Phil. It's great to be here today. I, I think following Sal's demo, um, there's not a lot left to say, but I'll try to say a few things. <laughs> I think he deviated a little bit from the script, though. So. <laughs> 
pun intended. Okay. Um, what, I'd li what I'd like to say is we are, um, we are really impressed with what Apple's been able to put into 10.1. Uh, we're really excited about the release. I think Adobe and Apple together have a very strong legacy and a strong history of, of coordination and innovation. And when we look at what, what they've been able to deliver, the team's working together on things like color management, to typography, et cetera. We're very excited with this platform. We think that this platform will remain the mission critical platform for professional publishing in a network publishing world. So thank you, Apple, for all of your innovation there. Um, what I'd like to do, I mean, you've seen uh, some of the glimpses of Illustrator 10. We've announced that this week in Design 2.0. We're going to take you through a little bit more depth uh, later on in the Adobe keynote uh, around lunchtime and invite you guys by the booth. What I'd like to do now is really go beyond that and take a sneak peek at what the Go Live team has actually been working on to really raise the bar for what web publishing will meet on the OS 10 platform. So I've got Mark Asher up here, the group product manager for the Go Live team. He's going to take you through a brief demonstration here. This is future technology. This is not something that we're announcing this week. But we really want to demonstrate not just with the application that you see today uh, announced this week, but in the ongoing commitment that we're making to this platform to make sure that we are delivering the best of breed network publishing content creation applications. So Mark, take it away. Thank you, Brian. Folks, I'm really excited to show uh, some upcoming features in an upcoming feature of Go Live and how we've taken advantage of the performance and the power of OS X. So, first of all, look at this gorgeous Aqua interface that we have here. We've got that beautiful shading. We have uh, the buttons and so forth, all the bars, some wonderful shading effects on our menus. We've really captured, I think, the essence of the Aqua UI. Um, let me show you a couple things that uh, I, we've... Uh, um, enabled in GoLive uh, in this upcoming version. First of all, I have a web page here, a uh, number of rollovers, some menu items, and so forth. And one of the things that uh, is really powerful and something that people have been asking for for a long time is the ability to create a concept uh, without having to build all the pages up. 